Hello, how are you doing? Doing something a little bit different for today's run. I'm actually working down in Oxford, that beautiful historic city where, you know, they film things like Harry Potter and a certain famous detective programme. So, what I'm doing is, it's 26 degrees so it's a little bit warm, but it's flat. Oxford is so flat compared to where I live, so this is easy. But I planned a 10 and a half mile run where I'm running along the Oxford Canal from near my hotel where I'm staying. I'm going to run into the city centre and then capture some photographs and footage of the historic buildings there for you. So, you know, if we're lucky, we might get to see a little bit of Hogwarts. <laughs> but yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I'm quite excited about this. Okay, I'm a lot excited, I admit. So, I'm going to carry on and I'll talk to you in a bit. Actually, I might not talk to you, I might just get footage because there's going to be people everywhere and they're probably going to think I'm a lunatic, so I'll just show you instead. <laughs> I'm about three miles in, just laughing to myself. I can tell I'm in a city because every time I say hi to someone, they totally ignore me. I feel like Crocodile Dundee. You know where he's saying, G'day, mate. G'day, mate. All right, sport gets totally ignored. <laughs> yep, that's me. As you can see, I've got a sweat on. 26 degrees feels like 29 degrees, which I'm not used to, but I just have to show you this. A little bit different to what I normally run. Yeah, how cool is this? This place just oozes history. It's just building after building after building. I love it, you don't know what's coming around the corner. Running on these cobbles certainly tests your hoka trainers out anyway. Right, I'll carry on. Well, I've already added a few extra miles onto my ten and a half mile plan by getting lost, so this might end up being my first half marathon since before my injury over four months, but it's flat, so it's awesome. But as you can see, Oxford is just amazing. Oh, look at that product placement there. Did you like that? <laughs> so yes, I'll carry on, keep my pace going. But what a beautiful place. I've always loved Cambridge more. Controversial, but it's pretty damn nice. wanted to show you this building on the right here through those doors in the middle I've been here in the past with my daughter my wife because through there is the great hall that they use in Harry Potter in Hogwarts which is pretty cool isn't it so yes I think you might like to see that Harry Potter fans speak to you later I was just running around the River Cherwell and a major part of my path has been padlocked closed. And there's no way across the River Cherwell. So, using my OS map, I've come back to Hogwarts, the Great Hall. Looks like I'm coming to the end of the run on the river Cher, well, it's not been a lot to show you really, because it's quite dark under the trees. Well, I'm just coming up to the last mile of my run. 
running along the River Thames. It's really peaceful this part actually. Hundreds of geese are honking away. Besides from those and the rabbits, all the students are back there, chilling out, having a smoke. And I've got this bit to myself. I just hope my car's in the car park where I left it, because <laughs> it was a little bit desolate. And uh, fingers crossed, it'll still be there because there was a nice green woman and I asked her about parking if they locked the gates. And she said, no, but don't come back too late because cars have known to disappear now and again. So fingers crossed. Well, I'm just coming up to the car park and uh, I needed my trail runners after all. I was surprised on the way back running along the River Thames. I ended up going through a field full of cows. Well, I hope they were cows. They didn't chase me, so that's got to be a good sign. And then in the dark, I haven't brought a head torch because I didn't plan on being out this long. Um, ended up running across the fields on the way back, which were very lumpy and rough. So in the dark as well, I couldn't see where I was going with my feet, so I had to just trust the trainers. And they really, really held up to the task, so very happy with them. <laughs> right, I think I've got about another quarter of a mile and I'm back to the car. So, I'll talk to you when I get to the end. Ooh, I'm a sweaty mess. It's nice for you to see, isn't it? I'm back in the car. It's not been stolen. I just realized whenever you go away, I was talking to my dad about this the other day because there's a YouTuber who goes on his bike that my dad likes to follow. And um, he said whenever he speaks to locals, they always scare him. So he'll go out and enjoy himself and then they'll say, oh, you want to be careful here? Or you want to be careful of that? And I just realized I asked one person a question about could I park the car here and would they lock the gates later on? And straight away she said, oh, you don't want to leave your car here late. You know, cars go missing. And So my entire run, I enjoyed it, but I was thinking, I hope the car's here when I get back. I shouldn't have just, I should just not have asked, should I? Because the car is here. Of course it's here. It's Oxford. It's an absolutely beautiful, safe city to live in. What was I thinking of? Anyway, that was an amazing run. And I got to see pretty much, I think, every landmark. Um, the route I actually followed was on View Ranger. It was a German guy that created the, uh, the route. But the only problem is, is the instructions were in German. <laughs> Which is why I got lost a few times. But I was able to use the OS map and find my way back. But it's ended up being just 10 and a half mile run, actually. Um, but that's the longest run I've done since I had the injury over four months ago. So I'm proud of that. And I really, really enjoyed that run. It was amazing. Oxford. I'm impressed, I cannot lie. Can't wait to show you the photos and videos, so I'll put them on now for you. And I'm gonna go back now, have a nice shower, cool down, have something to eat, and I might have to grab myself a glass of wine or two. Why not? Right, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.